Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. I, uh... I figure you might know more about this than me because this is more your wheelhouse in the video game industry. Uh oh. So I saw a thing online that the studio behind Slay the Spire announced they're going to change course on a two plus year game and completely migrate away from using the Unity engine after Unity did something that pissed off a ton of developers. What did Unity Have you do? heard about it? No. Oh, well, shit. I didn't read about it. <laughs> Every time I bring up anything video game related, you know about it, and He's this reading. time you don't. He's reading headlines like he knows. <laughs> I know. Honestly, Jonas, this, I appreciate the fact that you did think I knew. This is the first time in the history of this podcast that I've done something about video games, and you did not know what I was talking I mean, about. I, yeah, I, I honestly don't know All what right, they well, did. All right, well, then we're going to learn together. Google, what did Unity do? <laughs> we're going we're gonna to play it by ear. Oh, man. Jonas, uh, I'm thinking that we, uh, we, we bereft the topics. I think that's what's really happening. <laughs> We start live Googling our topics on the episode. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can talk. I can talk about. Uh, I can talk about uh, uh, Overwatch Two, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Unity plans to add a runtime fee, meaning each time a game is downloaded, the developer of that game is charged. The fee will only be introduced once a game reaches a certain level of success. Oh, okay. And see, that's that's like, ugh. So Mercedes actually took this feature out of their car because of the oh, it's feeling. like the heated seat fee. It's exactly. like essentially that kind of thing. Yeah, that, that's where my brain, that's where my brain first goes. It's like, okay, so now Unity is giving away their software as a uh, subscription service, essentially. So it's like once once your game is successful, we're gonna take a cut of every download yeah. forever because you built it on our thing. Yeah, I wonder how it works now. Royalties, perpetuity. Um, I not honestly, I'm not sure how it works now, but I know there has to be some cost. I don't know if this this uh this this model is uh more beneficial to the the smaller developers or not. I, I, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Um, yeah. but it sounds to me like they want a cash grab, and it sounds to me like they probably have a new product on the horizon, and maybe that's why they're incurring this new subscription. Service. I like grabbing cash. If I could grab cash, mm -hmm. I would do it. You should come out with a subscription service uh, for soft, a podcast soft, software engine. No, for a podcast, bro. A subscription service podcast. Yeah. Okay. Everyone pay for that. You, you should start charging for the one we're doing now. We're popular. Everyone's it's, like twenty bucks a day. Would Would you pay twenty dollars a day an episode Absolutely. to listen? Why to wouldn't anybody I talk? pay? How much would you pay to listen to you talk? I wouldn't pay twenty dollars to hear myself talk. If I had to pay twenty dollars a day to talk, guess what? I'm gonna be a silent. You're motherfucker. supposed to be convincing them that this is a good idea, I, and I, you're I, talking I, about how you wouldn't even pay. No, it. I would not. I'd be a silent motherfucker all for the rest of my life. I'd be a non-talking ass motherfucker. If I had to pay twenty dollars a day to talk, this is gonna be a quiet week. I like talking. I want to talk to my friends. See, I know you would pay the twenty dollars a day. Yeah, exactly. That's like a lot of money. Yeah, but I can already see the mental stack on you right now. You see how fast I went with silence. <laughs> <laughs> you see, oh my god! You see how fast I went with like, oh, I guess I'm a mute now. <laughs> Perfectly what, fine with that. What in life would be worth the subscription fee of twenty dollars a day? What is that? To see, this is one of those questions again. <laughs> that's how <laughs> that's I. One of those, that's how I like to be. I don't that's understand the question. Is there something in your life that you would pay twenty dollars a day to do? Is there something in my no? I, I, I mean, what if they said you can't play Xbox unless you paid twenty dollars a day? Thank you. You've cured my addiction. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what, what, you, you, what do you want? What if you had to pay? You should pay me twenty dollars a day for me should. not paying for the amount of goodness that you bring to the Xbox community. They should pay you, right? I even signed up for the Xbox Rewards sweepstakes to <gasps> for sweepstakes for this month. Joe, they have a Barbie Xbox three, uh, one, not even a new one. 
Really? Yeah, Why are they making a Barbie Xbox One? It is a Barbie, though. They're just like, hey, here's Barbie stuff for games you can't play. No, this is a sweepstakes. So they like, you know, they send it out to people if you win. Yeah, that's really a garbage ass thing. What? It's Barbie. No, the Barbie thing's great. Okay. The the like here, spend some of your hard earned Xbox bucks on a ticket it's, to a contest. It's, it's fictitious money. I earned. You did earn your fictitious money points. Yeah. But on the same note, you didn't know they were there. And uh, they're just like an accumulative add-on to the money that you already spent. You already got the product that you paid for. So, I don't know. Hey, you're not wrong. I'm really... I don't, I don't get attached to fake money. I'm really sad that Slay the Spire Studio is not making another game. Because in my head, all I can think of is that it was Slay the Spire 2. Oh, and now yeah. I want, want it and can't have it. Yeah, that's, that's they're throwing away two years of working on a game because they're so pissed off. I mean, it's fair enough, man. They probably couldn't afford to take the hit, and th and that's really sad because Slate Aspire was game of the year. The year it came out, I believe, it, if it wasn't, it was nominated. It's a very fun game, still holds up to this day, but it appears as though they maybe have to uh, sell. <laughs> sell what? I don't know. Microsoft is looking. is 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 big into acquisitions right now. It's gonna sell themselves. Yeah, They're like, oh, you put out this game engine. You're pissing me off. I'm just gonna sell the whole company, bro. Once you come out with a hit like that, hey, I mean, your, the, the your, iron was your a, valuation goes up. The iron was a lot hotter when they game one game of the year, not when they That's were true. throwing a new game in the trash. That's true. They That's might. True. They just basically meta the the metaverse and. Thirty-two billion dollars in the toilet, and then say, "Oh yeah, it could be better." Look, if the cost if the cost of an out of court settlement is cheaper than a recall, we don't do one. That's what car companies do, and that's a disgusting fact. <laughs> How does that make you feel? That your I, was life... using, I was using that in this situation, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, how does that make you feel? <laughs> that makes me mad, bro. That my life could die because I'm cheaper than a I recall. I don't, I don't mean, I don't care. Do what I. if you're driving and your tire blows out and ne Mr. Nissan's like, well, his life was less than the... the tires have a 10% chance to fail, but there's so many of them out there. We might as well just... You ever had a blowout on your car when you were driving? Have I ever had a blowout? <laughs> Sorry, this is me. not not the NSFW version. Just ask me if I ever had you ever a blowout. been blown out. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a blow. Blowout is essentially like when you're driving and, your and your tire just explodes. explodes. Yeah, no, that shit that. would be scary as f. Yeah, I imagine it would do some like damage to your rim too. Well, yeah, like, you don't it, want your rim damage. It can make your car like flip. Oh, yeah. Because like it gets you so off. Like you're going, say you're going 75 miles an hour down the freeway, and your tires just like pop. Like, it throws your car all off course. Yeah. And yeah, if yeah. not, it comes down on that rim and just like, ah, fucking sparking. And you're like Clark Gl Griswold on a. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a good enough driver to handle something like that. I'll stick to the rivers and the lakes that I'm used to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to go on. You ain't a waterfall boy. I don't want to be a waterfall boy. I don't want to be a daredevil. I'm not Super Dave Osborne. Armstrong. Have you ever spun out in your car? Have you ever lost control? I spun out on, uh, what do you call it, on Dead Man's Curve in Ohio, coming from downtown. I was coming from downtown, like, into Cleveland, like, uh, into, like, Bratnall area. You completely 360'd? Yeah, it was early in the morning, winter time. The roads were icy as hell, but it was uh, it was a holiday. Yeah, it was who like the hell it was did... like freaking Thanksgiving, so nobody was on the road. But oh, I, lucky 100, you, yeah. I 100 percent did a 360 and like no scope. Yeah, yeah, no oh. scope in my life, <laughs> dude. Who the f built Dead Man's Curve by the way in Cleveland? Like that is the most. It literally, it's if you guys shit. don't know, it is like you're driving on the freeway going 60 miles an hour, and it's a 90 degree turn. There's like, oh, just turn the freeway around the city. Like, who the hell thought that was a good idea? Yo, but if you from there, you you know about it though. Yeah. <laughs> like I've taken that bitch going like 90 before. Take the inside. Yeah, it's, oh, it's fun. But in the winter. Uh -uh. You better just do you better, 20. You better, you better just do 15 down. around yeah, that pitch. You better like slow else. down. Yeah. It really is dead man's curve. Absolutely. Now, I did. I spun out. I've spun out 360 in a car three times. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it was scary as shit, dude. I've yeah, I've, probably, I've done that once in my uh, in a truck, I think, as well. Yeah, dude, like it's a, like SUV. it's like it's that whole like loss of control, like what the hell's gonna happen because you know there's you can't control <laughs> anything that's going on in that moment. Yeah. Like it's just like that's a scary thing. I was going <laughs> seventy miles an hour all three times, so like it was wild. It's yeah, an, it's kind of synonymous for life, though, man. Hey, to you a know certain what? extent, I said, "Jesus, grab the wheel, brother, let's go." <laughs> Jesus, grab the wheel. Hey, look, you got your hand on the steering wheel, but you never know if you might have a blowout. <laughs> blowing it out that's the story of today's episode if you've ever been blown out why don't you put a little bit of something in the comments jonas offering blowouts to every <laughs> every fifth customer every fifth customer for his podcast streaming service <laughs> all right that's all the time we have for this episode go to the crazy for jonas tnt oh uh, we out <laughs>